change fonts using HTML. Changing fonts is one way to spice up a web page. It can also be useful to create headers, emphasis, or differentiation on a web page. There are many ways to display fonts, whether through typing the information into your web page or using cool new fonts as titles, in which case, you'll probably want to turn those words into images, I'll explain why below. The following steps will allow you to change your fonts with HTML. Decide how you want to use your font. Changes in font can be used in many different ways. For example, they can create headers, how to fish to fish, you'll need a fishing pole and a lot of patience. It is necessary, when fishing, to have your eye set on some sort of bait. Never let boredom set in too soon you'll fall asleep with a fish on your line or, combined with other attributes, they can create fancy style effects, O-N-C-E upon a time. Those are just a couple examples of using HTML to change font. Decide which font you want to use. This is an important step. You could, theoretically, choose any font in existence, but the truth of the matter is that the font will only show up on computers that have installed that same font. So, if you choose an obscure font that you've downloaded from the web or make your own, chances are that very few others will be able to see it. To play it safe, choose one of the following fonts, which are standard on most computers, Times New Roman, the default font, Helvetica Courier Serif Sans Serif Mono Space Fantasy You can choose more obscure fonts if you'd like, such as Comic Sans MS or Papyrus, but they are not guaranteed to work. Construct your tag. Your tag should be constructed as follows. The current programming standard is to write the name of your font in lowercase letters. If you choose to use a more obscure font, a wise thing to do is list several fonts in your tag attribute, as in the following example, this way, if the computer fails to display the first font, if it cannot find it in its memory, it will display the next on the list, and so on. Copy the tag into the body of your HTML. Copy and paste, or write in, the tag you've constructed to the place on your web page where you want to font to be changed. All text that you want in the specified font should fall between the end tags. The problem with the tag is that when you use certain other HTML effects, such as tables, you will have to keep inserting your tag to keep it working, ex the kills your font. To remedy this, Use the tag like so, paste this tag in the body of your HTML, 
between the tags before all text on the page. Note, this tag does not work in all browsers. Quick tips, if you want to use an obscure font that is visible to everybody, use an image editor to write your text in the desired font, then insert the image onto your web page. Using CSS can eliminate the hassle of using font tags repeatedly.